Hey old cock, how's that going? Forward. Good morning you lovely lot. I've got my Yorkshire camouflage on because we've got a bit of a marathon on today. It's unfeasibly early in the morning. It's uh, just gone three o'clock and we're off over to Yorkshire. The reason we're off over to Yorkshire is because, according to the weather forecast, the weather in Yorkshire is better than the weather in Lancashire today. So I'm going to make the most of it. I'm going to attempt to hit three car boot sales. We're going to go to Ruffworth, Harrogate and Weatherby. Relatively speaking, they're quite close together, but Ruffworth is about two hours from here. And it's an early start of that one as well, so I better get on the road. I think this is more Peaky Blinders than Yorkshire though, to be fair. <laughs> Right, standard script, cash point, coffee, and let's hit the road. Stop number one, Rotheth Carboot. It's not far from York, in Yorkshire, obviously. <laughs> Taking about an hour 40 to get over here, which is a bit better than I thought actually. I was looking at about two hours. And the weather is absolutely stunning already. It's like we're in a different country, honestly. I don't know if you picked it up on the camera before I left, but it was absolutely batting it down. But it's absolutely, it's, it's gorgeous. Oh, I do like Yorkshire. I've been listening to a bit of Enter Shikari on the way over, just to get the blood flowing. Highly recommend you do, particularly the track Gandhi Mate Gandhi. Just you have to play it loud though, because that's the law. One pound fifty to get into this car boot, but should be able to walk straight in. But quite a few people have mentioned this car boot to me actually. So time to get rocking and rolling. Buzzing. <laughs> I think so. No, 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 just in the shed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just in the shed. 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 Just in the Charlie, yeah, boss. So, how are you, pal? Cheers, young man. Thank you, pal. How much is this, man? Cheers, Cheers, young man. Thank you, pal. Charlie, nice day. What's the best, sir? Did you just have a look at this? What can you on this, lad? <laughs> yeah. Nice Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, right, no problem. Thank you. What you got on that? 25, man. Shit. Fuck it, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> that woke me up. Can you turn the siren off? I think that woke us all up then. <laughs> well, it works. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Yeah, yeah, that works. <laughs> 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 Alright, we're going to get the power. How much you got on that, Paul? Three quid. Have you got the power for it? Um, maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> That's a good question. What voltage is it? Here we are, 12 volt. 12? Yeah. Probably got an adapter. Would you do two without the adapter? Yeah. yeah. Says you're digging about, doesn't it? Yeah, thank you. No worries, bud. That was close. <laughs> I 
What have you got in the back? Uh, two pound, mate. Yeah, two pound. Yeah, just a few, mate. And your lamp? Uh, two quid on lamp, mate. Yeah, I got the right money, Paul. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Well, I might have just been a win. A perfect. What are your cables, pal? 50 pence, kid. What, a radio with no, uh, no power? Oh. <laughs> yeah, it good. helps if you have a bit of power, doesn't it? It does, yeah, yeah. I'm going to bloody change this, so I'll find something to do with it. I think I've seen you at William, and I bought a few before. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. What's wrong with that? Oh, we're going back a month or two. Have you got your reboard? Five of them. You chuck cable in. You what? You took the cable yeah, in. Nice one, cheers. Whoa. Oh, there's stuff there as well, mate. So we've got saving socks there. Wouldn't have oh, been brilliant. one. Oh, yeah, brilliant. Yeah, nice one. You going, you going for the walk round? Uh, yeah. Oh, you've got your thing anyway, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Come prepared, mate. No <laughs> messy. No worries, mate. You have a good day, Pop. You and all my mate. Look after yourself. Spray it red. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's got some up. flames <laughs> outside or something. It just blows up like Oh, usual. belting. Yeah. yeah. I've, uh, Put me in that bloody tiny it on. I'll bring out there. How's that saying go? I think I need a bigger boat. Have a good day, love. Oh, what is it? 15? 15, yeah. It's worth it. It's over 12. Oh, I found it. Uh, I found it. How much is it? 90. 90? That's how, how much do you offer? Well, that's how much I would be looking to sell it for. Uh, <laughs> okay. No problem. So it's going it to be. It's a good one, yeah. Everyone. Yeah, it is, yeah. Maybe if you take it for you. Maybe. Thank you anyway, lovely. Thank you to you. Good. How much is your bag, boss? Uh, seven pounds, yeah, the other yes. How much in the Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, Thanks, Laura. Cheers. Yes, thanks very much, love. Have you on that, Paul? Just have a look inside and see what you think, mate. Is it complete, do you know? Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to say, just check. <laughs> I think it is. I don't, you know. How much is it? Give me a bit on it. <laughs> I always say, check before you buy. Oh, always. <laughs> always. <laughs> but just like to think that it was. The bit was wet inside like it's just people buying. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna cry about that way. Better to be gone than it than me, like. Yeah. Yeah. It's coming a bit, it has been a bit of storm over here. There you go, brother. Oh, thank you very much. Cheers, well, thank you. Have a good day. Yeah, same to you. I'm in the boat, I'm going to go away. 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 I
Do you know what it is? Huh? What? Do you know what it is? It's, if I remember, not to do with CVs. Is it eight track? No, it's not eight. Oh. What it is, is ten pounds. Yeah, no. <laughs> That's what everything is on your house, though. You did five on that. Not this early, I'm afraid. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, come. You had a wask in you. Oh, we've got yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Sure. Good man. Alright, okay. So, no worries. And uh, that's what's wrong. I don't want to go on my stuff, so there you course, go. Of course, yeah. Cheers, buddy. Right, yeah. Superb, cheers, right, buddy. Have nice a good day. Hi, mate. Did you do YouTube? Yeah, mate. Yeah. Yeah, I think I've seen you. Oh, uh, nice one. What are you called? Hux. HX. Yeah. Nice, nice to meet you, mate. And you, bud. How's the morning been? It's been all right. I'm doing three today. All right, all right. The weather I've, over in Lancashire yeah. sucks. I've just finished a 12 hour shift. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Brave man. Yeah. How much did I have? Uh, seven quid. Five? Five, yeah. I'll give you a shout out next video. Yeah. Show us your name, pal. Show us your name, Woody. Woody. Nice to meet you guys. It's brand new. 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 It's brand yeah. Nice Thank you very much. What have you got in your jacket, pal? Ten of them. You're five. No? You're a five. It's got to ask me. Yeah, it's just the size that's putting us off more than anything. Seem decent enough, Nate. Here's any work off. Have you on that, bud? No, never been used. I was just Have you got a carrier bag? Oh, yeah. f***ing minging. I know, yeah, but it's minging. <laughs> now smaller, sorry. Thanks, mate. So on, cheers, buddy. 15 to 17. Have a good day, Jimmy. Oh, great start, Rafa. Oh, this is a good car boot. I think it'd be handy to bear this one, commit this one to mind for when it's raining as well, because there's quite a large indoor bit as well. Time to get on the road to number two. <laughs> 20 minutes and a stop at the coffee shop later. And we've landed. Stop number two, Weatherby Racecourse car boot. This is the only one of today's three boot sales that I'm hitting that I've been to before. And I'm not sure I've been this year. I think the last time I was over here was probably about August time. I found this to be very hit and miss. Uh, if the weather isn't so good, then it can be a bit sucky. I'm waffling, aren't I? Why don't we just get into the field to see what we can find? Let's go. <laughs> £3 for vans. You have two. Rich, would you want three vans? £3. Yeah, no worries. I'll be doing myself a disservice if I didn't ask. <laughs> no, it's fine. What have you got on your leave on? Sorry. Three. These are all ladies. Yeah. That's your seven. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Cheers. 26, 27, 28 and 29 waists. Yeah. So vary from size 8 to in between the 10 and the 12. Oh, uh, yeah, We've got skinnies, tapers, and a few straights in there as well. How much are they? Uh, £8 each for any of the yeah. ladies. Oh, oh bless. Yeah, we're, from, we're from Lancaster, so. Yeah. Oh, right, nice one. Yeah, yeah. This is my first to three today. Where are you called? Claire. Claire. Jamie. Jamie, nice to meet you guys. Yeah. So, I'm sure that's the entrance. No, no, I'm in here. Getting over here. I'm this loving is your first it. Time on this one? No, no, I've been here a few times. I've just been to Rutherford, this one, and I'm going to go to. No, it's one Arrogate. Been where? Arrogate. Pan 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 Pan
Is there? Is it just a case? Yeah. Oh yeah, there you go. How much have you got on it? How much is it, bud? There's no charger for it, unfortunately. Right, okay, no problem. Twenty. Could go ten without the charger. Fifteen. It's probably worth fifteen. Oh, it would be a bloody awkward one as well, wouldn't it? Seven point nine volt. <laughs> Oh, that means nothing to me. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's it's just they do that with with electronics. They do it so you have to buy specific um, adapters for them because normally it'd be like a nine volt or a twelve volt or something like that. But this that's just a real oddball one. Well, you probably get a charger off the off eBay. Oh yeah, yeah. Twelve? No, I can't. Fifteen. No, fifteen. All right, fair enough. I had to try. <laughs> I'll take it at fifteen. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Man. Five and seven. Thanks, Ray. Thank you, sir. Cheers. Here's a fist bump. How you doing, Paul? What's your name? Oliver. Oliver, nice to meet you, mate. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. You're watching the videos, then, yeah? Good man. Good man. He just wanted to say hi. Fair enough. Nice to meet you. Have a good day. You got an bus? Make me an offer. All I can tell you is the last time it was out, it was working, but yeah, yeah, that really goes well. That bodes well. <laughs> And you'll be my very first sale today if you buy something. Is it that been that dire? Well, I've only got rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like something Gerald Ratner would say. <laughs> well, it, yeah, but it just there's, there's odd things like this pair of like, Nike jogging pants. Yeah. And I'm thinking to myself, am I? Crazy? Where would I need to be near on this? Sorry. Where would I need to be near? Where would you need to be near? Under a fiver. Oh, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Should we say three? It's all right. Four would be better. Belt in. I can do that. Five, ten, yep. fifteen, Belt twenty. In. Thank you. Much obliged, sir. Yeah, thank you. Have a good day, Paul. How much have you got on scales? Half pound. Sounds like a bargain yeah, to me. It is to me, Lord. Come handle on, but yeah, yeah, well. Oh, Casey. Oh, has it got a trolley? Do you need this? Because well, it's a broken bag in it. Oh, you're in good. Then. And thank no, you. Yeah. No worries, love. Keeps all in one place, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does, love. It does. How much is that one? Ten pound. You're happy with my weights. Good, love. <laughs> Got something. Absolutely. Thank you, love. Cheers. Have a nice thank day, you. Love. Thank you. Much of these? Size five. That's a ladies. Yeah, that's in. Yeah. How much is it? I'm looking for about five for it. I'm open to offers on it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's just unusual, isn't it? That it one. is, yeah. I picked one up earlier from Rough. <laughs> Did you? What, same? It's, uh, almost really? identical. If it's not identical, it's very near. Can you do the three for it? I do four on it. Cheers, Paul. Thank you. It's great, yeah. that. Cheers. Thanks very much. Um, a pot, <laughs> I do believe we're going to have to review the situation because Harrogate's closed. Just found out off a couple of subscribers, which is very nice to meet them in the field. Clara and her fella, whose name I can't remember because I'm terrible. I'm determined to do three boot sales today though, so I'm going to have to do some digging. Trolley's overflowing from Weatherby. Really, really, really good result. And the weather's holding out. 
In fact, there's very little in the way of clouds in the sky. I think it's supposed to change later on in the afternoon, but let's stay in Yorkshire. Where'd you go on that, Paul? That is very expensive. I might put it on eBay. My wife paid £300 for it, wow. which is just upgraded. So I'll go for 120 I'm or very near it. I can show you the results on eBay. They're oh, no, I've sold one just recently. Yeah. Yeah, that, I think I got 130 for mine. Yeah, the cheapest I could go. Like well, I'll tell you what, the trade price, mm. the cheapest I could go because I want to sell it. Of course, yeah. And you've got to make profit as well. And I don't want the hassle of selling scary. it. <laughs> the and to give you some profit, and I can give you my name and address, I don't have a problem yeah. with that, is 90. Yeah. I could go down to 90. Course, she, she wants yeah. a knee and the knees. I, I could go down to that, and yeah, I think yeah. that's a fair price. Oh, no, it is, yeah, yeah. It's a bit steep for me, for, for my purposes, but... Yeah. Thank you, anyway, Pavel. Have a good day. That's a free view box, isn't it? It's a, it's a Z Gemma box. It's, um, it's IPTV. Oh, right, OK. There you go. 50p. Oh, How much are they, look? Three quid. Do you have any change? So, oh, no, I haven't. No. <laughs> I'll definitely have them. Would you mind putting them yeah, to one side for us? Thank you. Somewhere there. Anyway, it does work. Right, you know, it's, uh, yeah. D-A-B, they call it. That's the fella, yeah. Yeah. Digital radio. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Batteries are plug-in. Yeah. Well, I think we paid 100 and odd quid for it. They, they're not cheap, that's for sure. No, they're not Aunt Roberts, are they? Are they fine? Yeah. How much you got in your suits, pal? Sorry? How much are the suits? £100 each. £100 each. No, thank you very much, mate. Thank you. We've got them all there, look. You see that thing? I didn't know. Uh, it's for PS2, isn't it? Are you oh, of course, because you can think about it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It looks like it's got a PS2 connector. <coughs> That's a PS2 connector. Yeah, it's in good nick as well, really, really clean. It was hardly used. You take pounds with that. Yeah. That's what I got. Yeah. Yeah, go on, you pull that off. Two quid, one, one of them, and uh, not buying them. No. no. It's too small. Small, yeah? Yeah, yeah. How much is your radio? What? Uh, it's £10. Do you have the remotes for these, by any chance? Yeah. There's two Blu-rays, isn't there, and an ordinary one. I see, yeah. How much are the Blu-rays? The Blu-rays are 15 each, and the ordinary one's 10. Yeah. Should you do 25 for a pair? Uh, for which? What, for the Blu-rays? The Blu-rays, yeah. Two, two Blu-rays, you mean? Yeah, yeah. Two Blu-rays, could you do 27? I couldn't, no. I, 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 I buy it to resell. So right. I just need okay. to be a bit uh, mind, let me think. It? No, all right. Uh, 26. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> <laughs> Which ones do you want? Yeah, the, the, it'll just be the Blu-rays. It's an yeah. LG and uh, Samsung. Samsung, is that right? That, because this is Pioneer and that says Blu-ray on. That's it, yeah. That, so it's an aftermarket right? one, so it's likely to be that one, yeah. And is, is this Samsung that's left? My husband gives me these things and goes off walking it's, around. Yeah, yeah. Samsung, so that's the, it's the pi one. It's the Pioneer that I'm leaving. So, and it's the top two that's going. Oh, is it? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah, but then you're diddling yourself, aren't you? <laughs> well, um, but you, you said 15 for the two, didn't you? I have for 25. Sorry, yeah, 15 each. 15 each for the blue rays yeah, yeah. and 10 count for that one. Yeah. So 15 and 10 is 25 anyway, isn't it? All oh, right, okay. I thought you meant 15 a piece for the blue rays. For the what? Because the, 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 the LG and the Samsung are both blu ray and the Pioneer is a DVD player. Oh, is it? Oh, it's yeah, yeah. me that's getting mixed up. It's yeah, I'm right? 50. Yeah, you're right. I'm, right. I'm useless <laughs> on these things. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, we're, well, we're saying 26, 26. and yeah, that's fine. Fantastic. So, you need. I've got these. You've got a Samsung. Yeah. yeah. So, they've got a Samsung one. Yeah. And that'll be, that'll be <laughs> a, an aftermarket one for the LG, I would imagine. Right. So as long as I'm left with a Pioneer and a yep. Pioneer thing, I won't be in trouble. That's it. That's the Pioneer one at bottom. All right. Thank you. 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 Th
We got there, didn't we? <laughs> Oh, there we go. That's Thanks great. Thank very you. Much. Cheers now. Thanks for helping. <laughs> they're, they're free. I managed to get some for those boots. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I managed to get some change. <laughs> Thank you. I know why it started raining because I bought electricals. That's oh, what it was. Right. <laughs> Thank you. How much is your camera? Camera fiber. Do you know if it's working? Should be the battery charger and everything's in there. Yeah, we'll do a fiver. Sorry? We'll do a fiver. It gets the outer rain, doesn't it? Yeah, that's right. That's right. Oh, it's so big, isn't it? I'm not, box, not smaller, I'm afraid. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. Thanks, Dodgers. Thank you. Thanks. How much are your flasks, Phil? Um, four fairly, the, the all 1960s. Yeah, yeah. I think that one's a bit earlier actually, these are 60. Yeah. Are they all thermos? Uh, no, that I don't know off the top of my head. No, that isn't, that's Vaco it says on okay. it. Yeah. Who, uh, six for the two? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Cheers, buddy, thank, thank you. Thanks very much you. indeed, cheers. Dooby doo, doo dooby doo, dooby doo, doo doo. How much is that, but? Two pounds. I'm not smaller, I'm afraid. Taking all my change. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, you're a good one. Thank you very much. You. Cheers, have a good day. You too. Hope it gets better for you. Oh, I want to go home. <laughs> you want some other swords? No, thank you, sir. <laughs> I'll do like your salesmanship, though. Sounds nice to ask you, mate. Absolutely. No, I spoke too soon, didn't I? Well, I'm singing in the rain. I just singing in the rain. Let <laughs> me say, sending sellers, sending traders home at this rate. How much are the scales? How much would you give me for that? Would I be insulting you at three quid? Five. Five. Uh, yeah, five. I'll do a fiver. Five. Yeah, yeah. I will go in there now. Yeah. There was always going to be some common ground, wasn't there? <laughs> thank you, cheers. Brilliant, thank you. Do you want a bag? Uh, if you don't mind, yeah, just keep them together, yeah. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Cheers, have a good day, folks. I'll get guys out for you. Time to say for our to mint skip car boot. And another revision of plans. <laughs> it seems. I brought the Lancashire weather with me. So instead of going on from here to the fourth boot sale of the day, over at Ripon Racecourse, I think I'm probably gonna call it a day. I'm a little bit soggy, and so is a lot of the gear that I bought. So I shall take you home, show you what I've got from this epic adventure. I shall see you in a wee while. And we're back to the sunny land of Chorley. Well, it's sunny now because it's actually now Tuesday. Now, if you'd have seen my last couple of videos, you'd, uh, you'll know that the hauls from those videos leave a lot to be desired. Weather had a large part to play with that, obviously, but this epic trip over to Yorkshire has turned it around spectacularly. Like I said at the top of the video, it was my first outing of a weekend boot sale in Yorkshire. I was very excited about it because I do like heading that over that way. Now there's quite a bit to get through, so I best shut the hell up and get on with it. So here we go. So here we have it. Oh, right here then. Now this is more like what I call a haul. Total spend for the Yorkshire Adventure, £203. And for that, I picked up 33 items. Now they're in no specific order. These are from the three boot sales that I hit. So let's get into it. Quite a decent amount of electrical pickups today, starting with this really nice Roberts CD alarm clock radio. It's in absolutely pristine condition. The guy reckons it was it's new, but it's not got its package in. I'm not really comfortable selling this as new, or maybe perhaps open, never used kind of, is the condition I'll be going for with this. Roberts is an excellent brand to be watching out for. This is uh, DAB radio, alarm clock, and CD player. The model is the Roberts Sound 48, and the listing value for this is £55. One of the first pickups of the day, this Bose iPhone speaker dock. 
is the SoundDock XT speaker. It's got the new lightning connector for iPhones, which is very handy. When I picked this up, it didn't actually have a power cable, but I found one from a trader on the same boot sale. I think it was the first one at, at Ruffeth. Already plugged this in, tested it, works absolutely fine. Really good condition as well, just needs a, a wipe down. I was quite surprised, well, I don't know whether I was surprised at the listing value of this or not, because Bose is obviously a very high-end uh, brand, but really, it's just a speaker dock. But the listing value on this is 50 pound. Now this was probably, this is probably the most, I don't even want to touch it. It's, oh, it's, it's just disgusting. I picked this up because it's a pure DAB radio. The model is the one classic, but it's sticky and it stinks. I have no, it looks like the snot monster has thrown up on it. It's, oh, it's, it's so minging. Oh, I'm going to put it down. It's just disgusting. This is going to take some effort to clean it up. Um, I, I have plugged this in and it does work mercifully because I would have been more than happy to chuck this in the bin. But I have got a product that I've actually linked in the description of all my videos called Sticky Off. And it's absolutely tremendous. If ever you come across items that have got sticky residue on from uh, sellotape, tape, labels, all that kind of stuff, I'm going to be using quite a bit of it on this thing, I think. Uh, you give it a bit of a spray and a wipe down and it, it just gets rid of all sticky nastiness i definitely recommend it in your tour box but this dab radio it's not the most high-end ones but pure is definitely a brand to watch out for as far as dab radios are concerned listing value on that radio 25 pound now i think this was my last pickup of the day and i was just amazed that it was still on the table because this <laughs> would get we should normally get snapped up straight away a lot of you will be familiar with how much value there is in the question of sport uh, the, the board games i've never seen this version before uh, the ones that i've seen have been the older uh, versions that fetch ridiculously high amounts of money the last vintage question of sport game that i had went to america for 250 pound even the cards within those vintage sets some of them can fetch really really good money but i checked the comps on this i paid i'll tell you it's three quid a quid i gave for this which I nearly fell on my ass, even more so because of the fact it's brand new and sealed. I have no competition on eBay at the minute for this item. Uh, there's been a few used versions of this game sold for around about the £70 mark. It's been a good while since there's been a new copy available. So I've really stuck my neck out on this. And there's a good chance that I'm going to have to take offers in the not too distant future. But I've stuck my neck out at £118 listing value. But even if I have to send a healthy discounted offer on this, I'm still way, way, way ridiculously into profit. So I'll keep Keep you posted on that one but keep your fingers crossed for me guys won't you a <laughs> couple of blu-ray players off the same seller first one is a samsung bdj 4500r with its original remote listing value on that one 35 pound and likewise with the second one lg blu-ray players blu-ray players are always good news unfortunately it's got an aftermarket remote with this one but it looks pretty new actually both of them are in excellent condition i've no doubt that they're both working and again, listing value on the LG 35 pound. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you'll have seen me pick up chess computers. And uh, this isn't as fancy as some of the ones I've had. I think the last one uh, went for about 80 pound. But chess computers are always good news. It's important that you check the complete because the parts for them are a nightmare to get hold of. So if they're not complete, they're not really worth picking up for, for obvious reasons. So I checked this on site. Uh, this one, the... <sighs> There's magnets in the bottom of each pieces and, an, a, and it's all complete, but a couple of the magnets on a couple of the pieces have separated, so it needs a bit of a repair job. The brand is Sistema. They, they do a few different versions and the different versions vary wildly in value. This is one, like I say, one of the lower value versions. Listing value on this, 20 pound. Item I've sold quite a few of over the years, these uh, brother P-Touch 1005. The P-Touch is just the, the, the style, if you will, of the, the label printer. Chances are you'll be familiar, if not the brother one, Dymo do something similar to this as well. It's a little tape cartridge and it prints out just the bar labels. Good condition, so it probably works. Unfortunately, it didn't have a power cable with this. I may or may not source one, because it is battery operated as well. The listing value on that printer, £20. Next up, a bit of a grubby Kenny. I sold a few of these just recently. I think the last ones I sold were a bit bigger, certainly in better condition, and they had the labels, and they all went extremely quickly. This one is a bit grubbier. Looks like it's been hanging around for a while. Little bits of damage to the toes. Listing value on that one, £13. May have to rethink that 
perhaps about the £10 mark, but I'm going to, for the purposes of this video, I'm going to stick to the listing value of £13 on that one. Next up, a carpet bag. I've sold one that was a bit fancier than this just recently. Surprisingly good value and surprisingly popular. I check the zip on these. Sometimes they're quite, it's quite common for them to have a bit of fraying and the type of people who buy these are just not fussed about that because I think the preference is that this type of item needs to look well lived in. So they don't mind a little bit of fraying as long as no damage, no nasty stains and whatnot. Listing value on this carpet bag, 22 pound. The first of two cast iron scales today. This one is unbranded, but it has an almost full complement of weights. They normally have seven, this one's got six. I never have really put any uh, much effort into cleaning these up either because more often than not they're used as ornaments rather than actual scales. No, nobody's putting food in that so it doesn't, doesn't have to be squeaky clean. Listen value on those scales with the weights uh, is £25. That may go up to £30 because typically I've sold scales without weights for around about the £25 mark but I'll put that listing value on it because I know that's an extremely safe bet. Now these Akito boots are in really really nice condition they've had very little wear more of a lady size at a size five but all the fastenings zips and the hook and loop because you're not allowed to call it velcro on ebay you probably already noticed that if uh, i've uh, heard just recently of people having listings removed because they've used the term velcro which is a brand very nice race boot and because they're in such good condition, the listing value I've put on them is £35. Now, I was itching to test this out, so I've already had it plugged in and confirmed that it does work. This is a Sanyo VMD66P old school 8mm camcorder. It's in, it looks like it's had a, a really easy life as well. I mean, the, the, this, the usual thing is the, the foam around the speak, the, the foam around the microphone it just gets brittle and falls away that's really really common now there's a good chance there's two batteries with this there's a really good chance both batteries are past the best and will need bin in but it like i say it does work off the, the mains power not spectacular value on this compared to a, a lot of its peers. But the listing value on this is £40. I may be able to get a higher value because of the amount of accessories with it. But in the bag as well, with these two brands banking new, 8mm tapes for it. Now I'm in two minds with this one. I haven't actually got any of these tapes in stock to fully function test that camcorder so I can get the best possible price for it. So the reason I'm in two minds is because obviously I could use one of these tapes to test it or I could list these two tapes sealed for £15. For the purposes of this video, I won't add these to the grand total though, because I'm undecided what to do on that score just yet. Now another camcorder, the Panasonic. This is the NVDS38B. It's a mini DV tape camcorder and it comes with three tapes which is handy it has got two batteries with it as well but again like the other camcorder i expect that they're way way past the best i don't see any great benefit in replacing them either because the type of people that would buy these won't necessarily buy them to use them for the original purpose of recording things because phones do a much better job these days but people buy these because they have old tapes that they can only really use these type of devices to play on. Maybe they're digitizing old family movies and that kind of thing. Anyway, I haven't been able to test this yet because it hasn't got a power cable with it, unfortunately, but it is going to be worth my while sourcing one. Annoyingly, as is with the case with a lot of old tech, it's an unusual adapter as well. It's a, a 7.9 volt DC. Now I've got a massive bag of cables that I've put aside just in case, just for eventually such as, such as this, but I'm pretty confident I haven't got that one. It's a bit of an oddball one. So it's gonna be worth my while sourcing a cable for it because the listing value I've got on that is 55 pound. Now I picked up another Xbox 360. This is a 320 gig. Four games with it and a controller and all its cables. Now I'm not really that concerned that they're not shifting through because this type of item will pick up traction towards Christmas and obviously fetch a higher premium as well. So I'm not, I'll still pick them up if they're the right money. But as it stands now, the listing value I'm gonna put on that is 60 pound. These are boots I've seen mentioned in another YouTube reseller's video. It was only a loose recollection when I spotted them on uh, on one of the stands. Now the brand is DM, D-I-E-M. I believe these are fishing boots. 
or boots worn by anglers. Obviously you need a really, really good degunge, but it can look past the grub and they're in good condition. Uh, no splits or any damage, plenty of tread left, left on them. Size 11 and listing value on those 20 pound. And I haven't seen these for a, a good long while. I'm not gonna open them up because I don't know what condition they're inside and I really don't wanna throw up on camera. <laughs> Vintage, genuine thermos mugs in tartan still highly uh, quite quite highly sought after obviously two different sizes the small one listing value i'm going to put on that is 15 pound and the large one a listing value of 22 pound now something that's come down quite a bit in price uh, since lockdown restrictions lifted probably for obvious reasons is the the wee fit boards generally speaking i'll sell these bundles with the console but the reason i picked this up is because i paid very little for it but it's got loads of accessories the only thing it hasn't got is the game but i've got a bit of a stockpile of games to bundle with consoles that i might pick up and i've definitely got a few copies of we fit and we fit plus the reason this was more standy outy though is because it's got its we fit bands with it it's got the we fit plus manual if not the game and we fit plus socks which i've never seen before and they look completely unused as well i would imagine it'd be really easy to tell if if they've been used and obviously a nice carry bag with it as well it's in pretty much pristine condition so the listing value i've put on that bundle is 35 pound some more scales these are branded this time albeit quite a common brand this is the salter staffordshire again not a full complement of weights but even so a really really nice condition set that's going to clean up very nicely and again like the uh, the green ones before listing value put on those is 25 pound a really nice pair of vans brown suede these do need a bit of a degunge i've been getting some advice on cleaning suede just lately so i've got a product they ordered off ebay that i need to test drive bring these up really nice and minty fresh with vans the boots tend to sell better than the trainers but across the board vans are a pretty safe bet i mean we're not talking massive amounts of money usually the the standard trainers will go for around about the 15 pound mark listing value but these boots assuming they clean up well which i've uh, i'm pretty confident they will will be getting listed for 20 pound now i picked these two lamps up from two different sellers at two different boot sales and at first i thought they were different but they're absolutely identical it's just one of them's got an old frame for a shade on it these really slept out these really leapt out at me as well i think they're really nice not quite sure what it is but usually when i'm feeling like that somebody in ebay world agrees with me <laughs> now i'm not entirely sure whether these are actually brass or just brass effect and one of them does need a bit of uh, elbow grease to clean it up no points for guessing which one i may actually end up listing these as a pair i'm, I'm not i'm not decided you share but for the purposes of this video i'll put an individual listing value on them and that's going to be 30 to 35 pound more electricals i picked up one of these the other day actually this is an lg dvd recorder it has a free view function as well the model is the drt 389h no remote or cables with that but it's definitely going to be worth my while sourcing i've got a figure of eight, eight cable and a hdmi cable i can put with it i'll need to order another remote but the aftermarket in fact i think the original remotes of these aren't that expensive but if i'm feeling like a bit of a tight one i'll go for an aftermarket one this is actually in better condition cosmetically than the last one i picked up as well so the listing value on that lg is 70 pound next up a bit more of an obscure one actually i picked this up because the guy wanted almost pennies for it there's no precedent of this exact model just a similar hitachi device this is a digital tv recorder and that's what piqued my interest because usually digital tv re recorders a uh, free view plus that kind of thing if especially if they've got a hard drive in them fetch really really good money this one is the hitachi hdr253 comes with its original remote the trap door is damaged and will fall away if opened but i can mention that on listing i'm sure that won't devalue it too much as its cables with it as well so the way i've come to the listing value on this is by comparing it to similar hitachi models and the listing value i've put on it is 35 pound now would you believe there's still a market for dvd players this is a sony dvp sr 760h got its original remote hdmi cable in reasonable condition just needs a wipe down 
Nothing spectacular uh, value-wise, but it will certainly help pay the bills uh, with a listing value of £20. Now, I think a lot of people have been listening to, to me when I've been picking these up because the price uh, on binoculars like this are tanking a bit. I picked these up because they're a recognised brand, the Miranda. These are Miranda Elite Field 7 Degree. Nice condition, no significant wear. Checking through the view, it's all nice and clear, no debris in there. Listing value on those binoculars, £15. Some really, really nice condition RST motorcycle gloves. I think these are more of a lady's size. They're a medium and I mean, I'm not the biggest of pandas and I'm an XL. So I think these are more of a lady size. They don't look like they've seen much action at all. I don't think I'd be quite confident as, to list these as new other, but they're certainly that kind of condition. Listing value on those anyway, 20 pound. Some more vans. I think I may be addicted to vans. <laughs> white leather vans. These look like they've been attacked by the whitener. Look like they've been reasonably well looked after anyway. These are size nine and a half. And the listing value I've put on those is £16. On the home straight now, another Hitachi Freeview recorder. This is a HDR505. Now this one there is precedent for, particularly boxed. It's still got all its original packaging in there. It looks absolutely spanking mint condition got its remote all its cables it's as though it's never been out of the box 500 gig hard drive on that one so for all the above reasons the listing value i've put on that is 60 pound and the last two items today and just bizarre pickups i do believe i've got brum reseller to thank for these because i'm sure i've seen in one of his videos in either mentioning or picking these up these are a roller tour that's what they're called rather than the brand i believe i still need to do a bit more research so i'm not 100 percent sure on the brand on the four wheel one but the brand on the three wheel one is roma now if you're on the abl reselling community facebook group you'll already be well aware that i've been getting the mickey taken out of me for picking these up quite a bit but i don't mind because there's margin in them there's not actually that much difference in price either actually just give you a bit of a tour obviously it's a seat you can put your sandwiches under the seat it's got brakes on both handles and uh yeah i don't think i'll be swapping my motorbike in for one but somebody out there i'm sure will find a good home out there so for the two of them the four wheel one the listing value is 45 pound and the three wheel one which seems to be more of a market for these the the basket comes off as well and all good stuff brakes again uh, listing value on the three wheel one 40 pound and i may well just take them out for a test drive <laughs> now totals time but before i start just to qualify the prices i'm just about to give you where i've used the price range for example with the brass lamps for the total values i'm going to use the bottom end of that price range and all the prices for all the items today are going to be plus postage so like I say, the total number of pickups of today is 33. The total spend for those 33 was £203. And the total listing value of all these items is a whopping £1,141. Now it's been a while since I've said this, but I've very much been looking forward to saying it. That's a good day at the office. <laughs> now as well as all those valuations being plus postage it's important to remember that that's a gross listing value and a snapshot in time right at this moment so there's still ebay fees to come off that there's still uh, money to be put aside for to pay the tax also and perhaps obviously over time if the items aren't selling uh, offers are going to be sent sent out and i may decrease those valuations over time just to move them along now, I think that was one of my most fun days at the boot sales for a very long time. And I love going to car boot sales. So that's saying something. No real preference from the three either. Rough Earth, Weatherby and Minskip car boot sales all have their own merits. I think the last one, the edge was taken off it a little bit because it started chucking it down. And I, I have told a couple of the resellers that I bumped into that I'm familiar with that uh, I won't make it a regular habit. <laughs> To be fair, in Lancashire at the weekend, we are quite spoiled for car boot sales. It was just because it was an unusual situation where the weather in Lancashire last weekend sucked, where it was quite nice over in Yorkshire. Who'd have thought it? Now, just before I leave you, if you guys can do me a big favor and give it the video a thumbs up, it helps me reach more people with these videos and hopefully help them with their reselling experience. But if you'd like to support the channel, just in the description of this video below, there's a link where you can go to my Buy Me A Coffee page and 
or buy me a coffee. <laughs> if you're not already subscribed guys, please smash that subscribe button. I think it's something like 60% of the people that like and comment on this video uh, are not actually subscribed. So if you can hit that subscribe button, that again, that would be a massive boost for the channel. And the notification bell will give you a notification the next time I post a video up. As always guys, thanks so much indeed for supporting this channel and these videos. I've been Dave Keith. You've been amazing as always. I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.